we've heard quite a lot from Kevin Rich over the last week or so regarding the, the, the quandary that you yourself faced in coming back. Just in your own words, what, what were you having to weigh up? Um, just I, I struggled a bit being in lockdown, like just for large amounts of the year, basically last year. So um, it, was, it was kind of hard, I guess, to make my, or not make my family, but bring my family back over and to make them to have to do it for such a long time. And I, I guess you would all know the difficulties that like you you're all facing at the moment. And yeah, just um, you know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put my my partner in that under that kind of strain. So the club worked with me to give me as much time off as possible and waited until um yeah there was a, the roadmap and everything going forward to to see what was um yeah come out of it all and things are looking up. So glad to be back and yeah looking forward to just getting back around the boys and getting back into training. So how do you feel now you are back? Do you feel like you've made the right decision? Yeah, definitely. Um, now being back, I feel like I've made the right call. Um, happy to be back. Family's not over here yet. They're going to stay another month um, until things um, get a little bit better. And then, yeah, we'll fly them over and things will start going back to normal and get, get on with footy and it'll be good. And were you concerned about the, the infection rates over here compared to, to back home? Yeah, definitely. That's another thing. Obviously, the infection rate's a lot higher over here. So that was another concern that didn't my partner's got asthma as well so I didn't really want to bring her over and and put her in I guess in in danger I guess so yeah tried to keep her keep her over there as long as possible um start rolling out the injections and everything and things will be looking up and yeah she'll be over here soon it'll, it'll be all good if you had stayed at home did you have a plan b did you have a contingency plan in mind <laughs> uh I don't, no I didn't have a contingency plan on <laughs> I was um Weighing up, kind of maybe maybe tossing up in my mind, maybe retiring, but I don't know what I'd do, to be honest. So I've only really got one skill, and that's playing footy. So, yeah, um, while, while I can, I'm going to keep playing footy as long as I can. It's, um, yeah, lucky enough to be able to do it and um, do it for a job is pretty pretty cool. So I'll try and keep it going as long as I can. Did it really get that to that point where you considered hanging up your boots? It was it was a tough year for me um, personally with uh, my relationship and my little one being away from family. Um, I put a lot of strain on strain on us. Um, so it it did it did come to that because once I got back to Australia, we was back around all our family. We had our friends and everything, and we were, we had a lot lot more support than what we did over here in that sense where you can you can drop your little one off to your to your in laws or whatever you know. So it did make things a, a lot easier being home, and I weighed up maybe. Maybe it's easier just to stay home and for me just to get a normal job and yeah, get on to the next chapter of my life. Like it's it's coming. It's probably not too far off, but um, yeah, I I still feel like I've got unfinished business. So yeah, so that's why I've come back. I guess you are back. Did you get a special reception from the boys? You had to go straight into the hotel, didn't you? Really, but did, oh, did, yeah. you, get, did you have a guard of honour on the way in? No guard of honour. Straight in the <laughs> hotel. Um, here's your here's your room. See you in five days. That kind of thing. But <laughs> now they were good. The, the club looked after me. I stayed at the at Headingley, and um, they had a gym set up for me, kitchen and everything. So yeah, and I was it, it, it went pretty fast to be honest. The the club was re- done really well and looked after me good. Had uh, Zane Tetavana left it in a good state? I think I think Zane enjoyed it so much. He's still there. He's <laughs> <laughs> I think a few of the boys are still in there. It's not a bad setup. It's got the gym, got a kitchen, foods, foods coming around. So the club's done really well. They've looked after, looked after, uh, looked after us really good. Why? Why would you leave? Why? Oh, yeah, it's got yeah. a good view as well, isn't it? Yeah, views and everything. So no, great, good. great view. What about the season? Then how how do you top the season you had last year, which is remarkable, given you just talked about the, the personal issues you've had to, to have played so well on the pitch is is remarkable. How do you top it this year? Um, I think just, I think I'm in a way, like I kind of separate the two, um, my family life and then obviously football. So even though things were tough at home, I never really tried to show it at training. And when I was here, it's all business and I'd do everything that I could possibly do to make sure I was playing at my best. So that's not going to change. That's just, I guess, part of being a professional athlete. So I'll just be doing the same again, just um, training, training hard and doing everything I can to win and see what happens off the back of that. Do you adapt to your game at all for this season, given maybe some of the lessons you've learned on the field last year? Um, there's not not too much um, that's probably going to change with me. My, my game's pretty simple. Um, nothing. You know, no, nah, not really, I guess, no. <laughs> that's not bad. That's a, good, that's a good thing if that's the case. You don't have to change anything. We mentioned Zane. What's he going to bring to the, the pack? 
Um, a lot of energy. Already, already trained with him just then today for the first time and watched him train on Saturday um, against York. And, yeah, he was really impressive. Um, already you can see the impact he's had on the other boys, uh, the energy that he's bringing. And his level of professionalism is is way up there. Obviously, he's been at some really good clubs and he wants to win. And you can, you can tell that um, it's in his character and his personality already. So, yeah, he's going to bring a lot.